What other options are there for our universe? Well, the first option is that the universe is how it is and mysteriously happens to permit the existence of life. There is no design, no purpose and no point. It just happens to be that way. That life evolved minds that can try to understand the universe is also an extraordinary accident. And this fits into what we know of the evolution of the universe, the stars and of us. We are here asking these questions because we just happen to be here. An accident that is always waiting to happen for no apparent reason. The problem here are the odds of the universe creating itself in such a way so that life can exist. Well, maybe life could be created in a wide range of physical laws and we are just stuck in the rut of understanding the only one possible way we exist and live. Another option is that there is a reason for existence etched into a mathematical theory that brings together all the parameters, all the laws of physics, the constraints of nature, the existence of space and time, quantum mechanics and the origins of the universe. Everything has to exist this way because of these causal properties and they happen to give rise to life. Currently, thinking is focused on 10 or 11 dimensional string and M theories that try to explain this. Now this is quite a few more dimensions than we can currently sense through our own evolutionary development. But we are indeed a long way from it, and it may well be beyond our ability to understand. Think of a spider. What would he know about the creation and the laws governing the bath he finds himself in? A more radical approach to these anomalies is that the laws of physics had to be just right in our universe because we are here. The reason for this is that the odds of getting it right are massively reduced if there are many universes. If you have a large stock of clothing, you are not surprised to find a suit that fits. We have a strong resonance here with probabilities in evolution and the probabilities of an Earth-like planet being just right. Both depend greatly on decreasing the odds. So universes are possibly forming constantly in some unknown universe generating mechanism. The ones that have no life mechanisms are the most common, but as they are not observed, they do not consciously exist. But just occasionally, one is just right, like our one. Well, this explains a lot about the uncanny fine-tuning of the universe for life. Conjecture on this approach leads to interesting ideas on infinite, parallel universes that enable the possibility of all scenarios. The existence of multiple me's and you's in parallel lives. It may well be true and certainly answers many of the issues around quantum mechanics and probability. But we can never prove it directly or have any evidence other than conjecture. We are also left with several new questions with this approach. Where does the energy come from for infinite universes? How was the universe generating mechanism made? What in fact creates the multiverse? And as soon as we reach the answer, because it is so, we have again failed in our quest. 
So the fact that we have a universe suitable for life is possibly going to remain a mystery forever, albeit one with only a few possible scenarios. But if we cannot answer this fundamental question with certainty, how can we possibly answer any questions about meaning?